wondered how my hair looks the rest of the week and not just wash day. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I realise that I spend a lot of time here showing you my wash day curls. Look at this guy. Um, and maybe even days are refreshed, but not all those other days in between. And I do tend to wash my hair only once a week. So obviously it does not look like this seven days a week. So I was speaking to uh, Courtney, Swavy Curly Courtney. I'm sure if you're here subscribed to me, you're already subscribed to her. She's amazing. And um, we were chatting about YouTube videos and ideas and she said, oh, a really good one is a week in the life of your curls. So that's what today's video is all about. So this is wash day. And as you can see, it's a, it's a pretty darn good wash day. Um, I am practicing getting the hang of brush styling at the minute and I'm loving it. You can see I've just got such uniformity in the ringlets, um, an amazing shine. I used Curl Smith uh, products to style. I used the Protein Cream and the Hydro Flexi Style Jelly, two favourites of mine. And um, I will put in a little clip so that you can see how I've been brush styling, but I will be doing a tutorial, a proper video soon. Once I feel like I've really got the hang of it, I will do a full YouTube video. But this is the sort of brush styling that I've been doing and I'm really, really enjoying it. It's only my third wash day doing it, but I feel like I am getting the hang of it and um, I've really got some good good ringlets and that that kind of consistency of definition is working out. Let me show you the back. Um, the back's not quite as good as the front and the side but that's just how my hair usually is. Um, I think I will figure out which direction to brush style this section over time and I'll be able to hopefully get a bit more definition there uh, but I am just delighted with these result results. I really am. So this is day one. I've given you a 360. I will report back in tomorrow, day two and the next day. Just a daily update on my curls and you can see how they progress through the week. Okay, it's day two. It's the next day and we've got daylight <laughs> because it's the morning. It's the middle of winter right here, uh, right now. Right here. It is winter here. Um, I live in Scotland and so it's dark like half the day. Sunset is about 3.30 at the minute, so it's just dark all the time. So it's nice to be able to show you this in daylight because it's the morning. And the, these are my day two curls and I'm not sad. I'm not mad. I'm really pleased with um, all the definition that I still have. Obviously I have got some frizz, but that's to be expected. I slept in my buff, which I thought I would just show you. This is what I normally sleep in. I will link my video up here. Um, which explains uh, a bit more about this and how I keep it on my head all night because it does stay on my head all night. Um, I'll show you the back. I've not actually looked at the back myself yet. And just while we're on the, sub the subject of showing you the back, when I show you the front, I do this. Um, when I show you the back, I do this. So just remember that while I'm doing this, this is how the back looks. And while I'm doing this, this is how the front looks. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. <laughs> um, I wish I had enough hair that it looked like this at the front and full at the back, but I don't. So that's just how it is. Um, but yeah, so really, really happy with this day two. Got really, really good definition still. They're still so springy and I really am finding that, look how long it is. And that's after it being cut too. I'm really finding that the brush styling is um, making the ringlets just hold so well and it's giving it that bounce um yeah very very pleased very happy i shall show you tomorrow hey guys coming to you from day three and as you can see i've still got some amazing ringlets and definition underneath but my top layers are really lacking lacking definition they're really quite frizzy. So I thought I would show you um, what I like to do on days like this where I've still got the definition but it's just kind of lost its structure in places and it's got that quite a lot of halo frizz. So I like to do a dry refresh and I'll link full videos on how I like to do dry refreshes but I thought we'd just show you quickly. So lately what I've been loving is a combination of these two products. So the Umberto Giannini Curl Jelly Refresh Spray. Absolutely love this and the Homey Softly Style Balm. And I have got two separate videos on how I refresh with these, but I've been liking a combo. So what I've been doing is using the, the Curl Jelly Refresh Spray first on the sections that are perhaps a little bit more stretched out. So often the underneath is more stretched out, but as you can see today, the 
underneath is pretty much still perfect and it's the top that's an issue. So you can spray it directly on um, to your hair. I tend to quite like to spray it onto my hand, uh, rub it between my hands and then smooth it over. So the first thing I'm doing is just smoothing down all of that halo frizz. And then I start taking individual curls and just smoothing them and sort of finger coiling them in the direction that the curl is already going. So for example, this piece of hair you can see is curling that way. So I'll just smooth it down and then twist it in that direction. And as you can see, those curls instantly look defined again. And the frizz kind of gets incorporated back into the hair. And then this bit at the front, which is my least curly, one of my least curly sections of hair. So a little bit of this spray can really help it bounce back up again. So just working through, finding the curls that are lacking a bit of definition or maybe they have the definition, but they just have that excess frizz and smoothing them through. So I'll just carry on doing that through all of my hair. And like I say, I like to use the spray for the bits of my hair that need a bit more help. And today that's these top layers. Um, and then I could just do this over all of my hair uh, separating this big one or what I've been doing recently is just doing this on the, the bits of hair that are most in need of help and then just going in with the the hold me softly style balm cream on the rest of it just to just to give it a little boost of, of moisture so I really don't want much it's a lovely moisturizing cream so I'm really only taking a tiny smidge just a really really small bit rubbing it between my fingers like this and then just smoothing over these sections and again I could do either of these products on all of the hair uh, but I have been liking the combo depending on which curls are needing more which curls are needing less uh, you could use any curl cream for this um, you could use a leave-in conditioner even um, I found that that can get some really really good results as well And then just smoothing over the same as before and giving it a very gentle scrunch and you can see there my definition is showing up again. So I'm just going to carry on and do the rest of it and then I'll show you the final result. I'm back and I finished off my refresh and I let it dry which doesn't take long because it's just a little spray and a little bit of cream and I've just fluffed it out and um, it's a big guy. It's looking so much better. I haven't really looked at the back, so we're not seeing a pattern here of me not looking at the back. <laughs> if I can't see it, it doesn't matter. But yeah, it's looking a lot better. The top layers are looking much less frizzy and I've got a bit more definition back there. It's not perfect, but I'm really happy with it. And these guys are just loving life. <laughs> totally, they need their own show. So that's my day three. So it should stay like this hopefully for the rest of the day. And then I will check in and show you day four tomorrow and we'll see what we're working with. Hey guys, day four. And wow, I am so pleased with my day four hair this week. And it was the same last week when I did the brush styling. Day four was like amazing. Um, all I did, so, so my refresh, my quick refresh that I showed you from yesterday, has lasted, has held up really, really well into today. And all I did just now was when I was in the bathroom, just use wet hands and smooth down just one or two little kind of bits that had gone a bit straight, like the sky and the sky, um, just to smooth them down and just, just water to smooth over a couple of frilly bits. But overall, I'm really, really pleased. If you can hear background music, it's because Elodie, my three-year-old is playing on her iPad. Um, so yeah, that's my day four. So all I'm going to do now is just add a little bit of my favourite dry shampoo from Hair Dance. And um, it's a powder um, and it just, it smells nice. It's got like a lavender. Is this a lavender one? Can you smell one? it? Yeah, can you smell it? Sure. What's that one? Oh, that's grapefruit. Yeah, here you go. Come sniff it. Come smell it and tell them, does it smell nice? Does it smell good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well it's got the LED seal of approval. So I'm just using a small amount and I'm rubbing it between my fingers and then I'm just sliding my fingers in at the root. And it's not because my hair is greasy because I don't suffer from an oily scalp. Um, 
but I do find, see look, instantly it gives me that volume. And of course, fluffing my hair at the roots will give me volume anyway. But, whoops. <laughs> but I do find that using the dry shampoo helps the volume last a little bit longer than uh, just fluffing without it. And it also freshens the scalp um, and it's made of very natural ingredients as well. So, so there we go, that is it, that's all I'm gonna do. And wow, got some great volume today. Look at that, day four. That's what I'm loving about brush styling at the minute. Um, is that I feel like my results last so well and they refresh so well. So doing my, my usual non-brush styling routine, um, I don't tend to refresh because I don't find that refresh results really are any better than when I don't bother to refresh. Um, but with the brush styling, I feel like the curls stay intact and then all it needs is adding a tiny bit of water or a tiny bit of product and they spring right back and you know they've got that shine and so pleased with that. So tomorrow will be day five and um, I will check in and show you that too. We're actually going for the weekend to stay at my mum and dad's. I'm the only one around the corner, but it's their anniversary. And so uh, me and my husband and the kids and my brother and sister-in-law are all gonna go and stay over for the night and just have like a couple of family days. So I'll be checking in with you possibly while we're out and about, possibly here in the morning, possibly at their house. I don't know, but I will definitely check in and show you day five. Hey guys, I so nearly forgot to film today's section of the video because we've been having our family weekend. We went out for breakfast, had a lovely time. Um, and my hair's actually been in a half up um, most of the day. In fact, I'll insert a picture for you so you can see it. And I just took it down to just stick it up in a pineapple. I've just got my comfies on. Um, and I thought I'd better just quickly show you. And it looks a bit of a mess right now. The lighting is bad. But do you know what? For day five, look at, Look, <laughs> look what is still there. So, so impressive. Obviously, it's a bit frizzy and limp on the top, but it is not half bad. Anyway, um, I will check in with you tomorrow and we'll see what day six looks like. Bye. Hey guys, so yes, I nearly forgot again to show you my hair, we've been so busy. Um, but this is day six. I've still got ringlet definition I'm kind of whispering because I'm in the bathroom and everyone's out there yeah okay. hey guys okay day seven here um so it, uh, I'm back home we had a really nice weekend with my family it was lovely and um actually for day seven again brush styling for the win because i've still got all these ringlets in my most curly hair which is underneath the top of course is lacking definition but do you know um i thought it was gonna have to go out today i'm not but um i really thought i was and i felt like this would have been refreshable i'm not going to bother because i'm just staying home doing housework but if i was going to go out then i would have um probably just added a bit more of the umberto janini jelly refresh and I think it would have looked fine or maybe just tied the top section back because um I mean a whole week of curls a whole week uh and it's still looking fairly good but obviously it doesn't look like wash day and of course this is stretched out and of course you know there's some frizz and there's some sort of just weird fluffy bits and all of that. So when I say that I wash my hair once a week, um, sometimes I have a week like this where I get good definition in places like all the way through the week and other times by day two it would look probably worse than this. Um, so it really does depend but I have found since doing the brush styling that it really makes the curls last better. And another thing that I tend to do is usually by about day five, six, um, I will start to run my fingers through my hair, starting at the bottoms and just breaking up the mega clumps that tend to appear and detangling. And that means that when it comes to wash day, I don't tend to have to spend an awful lot of time detangling. So I did this once yesterday, uh, just did a finger comb. I don't tend to use a brush on my dry hair because that does make it just go poof into a, a puff ball but finger detangling means that um, it makes it look fuller so I quite like the fact that it looks fuller uh, not quite as frizzy as if I was to brush it 
but it does make wash day go faster because I don't have to do a full detangle. So that's it, I will just leave it like this. I really like that look. <laughs> I'll leave it like this now and uh, I will wash it tomorrow. Um, let me know if you like seeing a week of my curls, whether you would like to see this video done when I don't do brush styling. Uh, maybe do some sort of comparison so we can show like um, the day two, three, etc. with a comparison from this video um, and see the difference it makes to the longevity of the curls. Thank you for watching and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please subscribe if you're not already and please leave me suggestions. I love to get suggestions from you on types of videos that I could film. So if you have any ideas of something that might be fun, please leave them in the comments or send me a DM on Instagram and I will see you soon. Bye.